Hello, good morning. Guess who beat coronavirus? Oh. Me. <laughs> coronavirus. Bruh. Oh, the Windows one doesn't work. Oh, wait, it does work. <laughs> Can you tell I got bored when I had COVID and I made a soundboard? <laughs> Hi, everyone! Oh my God, okay, so here's the deal. Here's the deal, hold on. Pause the Just Dance really quick. So, so every year, every year, Center Stage holds a dance-a-thon for St. Jude where everyone picks like a time slot to dance and then they raid into the next person and it just keeps going and it's just a, like a constant train of supporting people. And we held the finale live from St. Jude. So I flew to St. Jude with Megan, Ariel, Kira, and Trev. I have to sneeze. <coughs> Excuse me. We flew there and I was so careful I got my booster in October. Whenever I fly now, I wear a mask and I sanitize my tray table because, uh, spoiler alert, um, flight attendants don't have enough time to clean all the rows between flights. So that's up to you. <laughs> so like I clean everything. I'm very careful. At St. Jude, someone gets me sick and JP. And I, like, I'm flying back home. I feel normal. I'm still wearing my mask. I'm still sanitizing my tray table and stuff, which in hindsight, I'm glad that I did because then I could have given someone else on the plane COVID. So, like, I'm glad that I still wore my mask even though I was feeling fine. Um, and then, like, two days after I get home, I'm like, oh, my, my nose is a little congested. It's my allergies. And I took a COVID test and it was negative. And um, so I messaged the group chat anyway, and I'm like, just so you guys know, I'm not feeling well. I took a COVID test, it's negative. I'm gonna take another one in like two days when my like symptoms are more pronounced, but I think it's just a sinus infection. And the day after that, JP is also like, yeah, I'm not feeling so good either. Like, I feel like we caught like a, a bug or like an infection or something from, <laughs> from the hospital. Two days later, I test again, mega positive, super positive, like, like, it was like, it was like, as soon as the liquid reached the positive line, it was like, positive, positive, like, it was giga COVID, it was, so, it was so pronounced, and I feel like everyone has this when you test positive for COVID, you go, you have like a split second of denial, and my denial was like, oh, well, my, my cotton swab was like a little bloody, so maybe it was the red from the blood that made the line pop up because the line is red. And like two seconds later, I was like, nah, bro, I got COVID. <laughs> I got COVID in the year of 2024. So I messaged the group chat again. I messaged everyone. I messaged like Faith's mom. Um, I messaged everyone at St. Jude we came into contact with. Uh, I messaged the group chat with like all the finale people. And I was like, hey, <laughs> remember when I said it wasn't COVID? <laughs> Hey, how y'all doing? <laughs> and I was like, I'm so sorry, you guys. You should get tested. Like, be safe. I hope you guys are fine. Ten minutes later, JP comes back and goes, I saw your message and I tested. And I'm also super mega positive for, for giga COVID. <laughs> like, his was the same. Where, like, as soon as the liquid reached the line, it was like, boom. <laughs> COVID. <laughs> like, it was so sucky. So, um... I have been so diligent because my JD24 speed run is next Saturday. And I have been so diligent about taking hot baths, drinking lots of tea, eating lots of soup. I didn't take like any day quill or night quill except for the day that we hit a million for St. Jude. I did because I wanted to like feel fine for stream. But like I was so... I was so diligent. Every time I felt tired, I didn't fight it. I took a nap immediately. And um, I was on JP's stream last night. Yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty common. That's why I get my booster is because if I didn't have my booster, brother. <laughs> I've seen the way the flu hits me and it's like, I think I'm dying. So I'm glad I get my boosters. Anyways, um, I was on JP's stream last night and for fun, we took a COVID test and mine was negative. And I was like, yo. <laughs> and then I, I was like, I'm not gonna go out and do anything. I'm gonna wait until tomorrow and test again just to be sure. 
and I tested again this morning, and it's negative! It's negative! Aww. Yeah! <laughs> I don't even know what buttons I'm pressing anymore. <laughs> I'm giga negative! I'm super mega negative! So, me and JP had this, um... <laughs> Me and JP, as soon, I'm not joking, as soon as we tested positive on Wednesday, our immediate, our immediate discussion went to, so how do we profit off of this for St. Jude? <laughs> and I was like, you should make a Tiltify poll. Um, you should make a Tiltify poll that people can donate to to bet who's going to test negative first. And um, we were like, whoever... Whoever wins and tests negative first actually has to do a punishment. Like they have to go like order a coffee in an embarrassing outfit or something. So that's what we decided on. And then I tested negative first, but everyone bet that JP was cause he was feeling way better than me. He was like, yeah, y'all, I woke up and I feel great today. And I was like, Ugh. I was like, yeah, me too, brother. I felt disgusting. So when I tested negative, and he still tested positive, I was like, oh my God. And all, all I had to do was boil myself alive. All I had to do was take three super mega hot baths a day, sit in sweatpants and sweaters all day, sweat it out, drink a lot of tea, a lot of soup. Like all I had to do <laughs> was give myself a self-induced fever and she's negative. So I had to cook myself, it was me soup. It was a little sea of soup. <laughs> so I'm feeling better. I definitely sound congested, but I feel fine. I think it's just like the leftovers or whatever. But I wanted to try dancing today. Three super hot mega lava baths a day. That's what I prescribed myself, Joel. <laughs> I had to sit in a boiling pot on the stove three times a day. <laughs> I mean, it worked. I boiled the COVID away, so. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna be congested, and that actually leads into, leads into what I was gonna say, Archimony, Archimony. I still don't know how to say your name, I'm so sorry. Um, so, my Just Dance, my yearly Just Dance 20, my. Hi, my name is Avery. Um, my yearly Just Dance speed run is next Saturday. And the poopy thing about COVID is that it affects your lungs. Thankfully, I haven't, I haven't felt anything. Like I've been able to take like deep breaths and be completely fine. I think for me, it was all up here. Like it was all in my sinuses. So I haven't felt any difficulty with my lungs today, but I do want to take it easy and like ease myself back into dancing. So I thought today we would just do like easy or medium songs. Um, just to like test how I feel because I don't want to push it too hard and then hurt myself like it's not worth it so uh today might be kind of a snooze fest <laughs> it might just be, be me doing like space cat all day <laughs> so today's gonna be like an easy day I'm not doing any extremes no hard songs I'm not doing cantamer because that will send me into cardiac arrest but I wanted to like ease myself back in just to make sure I'm fine and like slowly ease myself throughout the week so that hopefully by Saturday I feel normal again. So, yes. Also, we are still fundraising for St. Jude. I feel so horrible. Oh yeah, we're doing Kitchen Kittens on repeat today. That's my cardio training, is Kitchen Kittens on repeat. <laughs> um, we are still fundraising. I have to say, like, this is the second time I've gotten sick during, uh, or gotten COVID during St. Jude time, and it's so disheartening because like, the cats are chasing each other. Um, <clears throat> it's so disheartening because at the beginning of May, I'm so like, let's go, let's raise some money. Like I'm so like excited to fundraise. And then it's like, boom, go to sleep for like a week. <laughs> go to sleep for a week. And it's such a bummer. So we're still gonna take donations today. I only have the hospital incentives up. I don't have any song requests just because I'm sure people will miss what I said at the beginning where I was like, no hard songs, no like no difficult songs, whatever. So I still have the hospital incentives up um, if you would like to donate. There's some really cute, like cheap ones too. Like, hold on, I have a whole list here. <clears throat> 
I choked on my saliva. <laughs> Me like, who wants COVID? <laughs> I don't have it. I'm negative. I promise. Um, $10 could help provide a new toy for hospital play areas. And I feel like that doesn't sound that exciting, but who, who, whoever got picked up from school as a kid and your mom or your dad was like, let's go to the toy store. Like you got really good grades. Let's go to the toy store and get you a new toy. Those were the best days of my life, especially since I grew up kind of like poor that it was like really rare. So whenever my mom was like, let's go to Toys R Us. Like you've had good grades. Let's go to Toys R Us. Best day of my life. Best. Oh, oh my God. Oh, but I didn't do anything. Okay. Anonymous. What did your $300 pay for? Your $300 paid for roughly eight chest x-rays. So well done. Or three red wagons. Congratulations. <laughs> thank you so much. That's really nice. Thank you. Also, Eric, thank you so much for the $10. It's been a while, but here's my annual donation for the kids. Thank you so much, Eric. And thank you, Anonymous, for the $300. That's wild. <laughs> thank you so much. <laughs> thank you. Um, also, $25 covers four no more chemo parties, which is, I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory, but they... Um, they throw a party for you when you when a child finishes their last round of chemotherapy and like all of your nurses and doctors come in and like your parents are there and your family's there and they like throw confetti and give you a treat and stuff. It's so sweet. And that pays for four parties. Um, $50 covers art supplies for the patients. Um, and then $100 covers one red wagon, which I feel so, I feel so bad that I'm repeating this a gajillion times, but, um, the red wagons kind of like are in lieu of wheelchairs if they're able to. Obviously, if it's an emergency, they'll use a wheelchair. But like um, red wagons are used to like um, transport the kids back and forth from like the housing to like the hospital or the pavilion or whatever. Like it's like a it's like a less intimidating way to take them around than like a wheelchair because I feel like a wheelchair can be like a little daunting. Um, and it's got a ton of space. Like we saw one when we filmed Gimme More with Faith. We had her being dragged around in a red wagon. They're huge, dude. <laughs> They're huge. They have so much space for like a blanket or a book or a toy or an iPad or whatever. Like it's massive. So it's a really smart idea. Um, so yeah, there's plenty of things you can donate for to, um, to help the hospital and help the families of St. Jude. Thank you everyone who's donating. I feel so bad that I don't really have any like incentives today because I'm just trying to like... I'm just trying to make sure I'm okay before I go full force into fundraising again. So literally just donating. Thank you so much. <laughs> I appreciate it. Um, also at $60,000, which we're about $6,500 away from, I'm going to make a drag race audition tape as not an Olympian, my drag persona. So I'm very excited for that because I've done drag makeup not like wigs and stuff, but I've done drag makeup once and I loved it. I loved it. So, <laughs> I was named, I was named not an Olympian after I was not invited to the Just Dance Olympics <laughs> last year. <laughs> and I was like, that's my drag persona, not an Olympian. <laughs> So we're bringing her to life. I can't wait. <laughs> Ellie, thank you so much for the $3.21. I'd like to dedicate this donation to a teacher at my high school that last week lost her five-year battle to ovarian cancer. She was a great soul that cared about her students and the community she will miss. Thank you so much, Ellie. Thank you for, for, for saying that. Um, for anyone who hasn't seen it, I have a reward where you can just, it's like a dollar. It's like the cheapest donation you can make and you can dedicate it to someone. It could be literally anyone. Like, it doesn't have to be someone who passed away or whatever, but like, it's been like my favorite reward this far because it's so accessible and so many people are dedicating memories to people that they love or care about and it's so sweet. So thank you so much, Ellie, for, for donating that and, and sharing that story, thank you. Okay, I'm gonna stop yapping about St. Jude and we're gonna do some dancing. Um, I kind of want to start with Murder on the Dance Floor because I really like it. I've only done it like twice, but I really enjoyed it and it wasn't that hard. 
It's difficulty is hard? Really? Okay, well, <laughs> this ain't can't tame her hard. Sorry, <laughs> I'm gonna gatekeep the difficulty. You're telling me this is the same as can't tame her? I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think so. Um, I wanna start with this one, cause it feels easy to me. And then we'll do some more easy songs. That's a medium, yeah, it is. It really is. Anyways, I love this dance. I don't want to jinx it, but I actually feel pretty good. I thought I'd be dying, but I actually feel not that bad. <laughs> Rami Ann, thank you so much for the $10. Thank you for donating, it's very kind. <sighs> thank you, it's very, very sweet. 
Bye, COVID. You won't be missed. Dude, I'm sorry. Getting COVID in 2024 is so embarrassing for me. <laughs> and I got it fundraising for St. Jude. That's even worse. <sighs> Techie. <sighs> Thank you for the $10. Dedicating this donation to my late fiance who passed away from sudden arrhythmic death syndrome three years ago. Not a day goes by that I don't miss her. Oh, Techie. Oh, I just want to give you a big hug. Um, thank you for donating, and thank you for sharing that. I think, I think, I'm not like a very spiritual person, but I do think that when you share a loved one's memory in a positive way, like like donating to charity or or like I don't know, like attaching it with something like something positive, I think you keep their memory uh, uh, alive in like a way that anyone would want, you know? Like, I don't know if that makes any sense. I got COVID brain. The COVID amoebas ate my brain. <laughs> so I hope that makes sense. But I think when you keep it, when you keep their memory alive with something positive, like trying to change the world for good, I think it's like, it's like a way that anyone would want their memory kept alive, you know? So thank you so much. Thank you for doing that, that's very sweet. Did you put the speed run into six days due to your health or was it just planned? No, I just planned like this. <laughs> so I was like, I want the finale and the speed run to be two weeks apart. So I have time in between to like rest and like prepare and stuff. So it was already planned for those days, but it just so happened that I got COVID from traveling to St. Jude for the finale. And I was like, well, I only got like two weeks to beat this. So I'm gonna boil myself alive in baths, I guess. <laughs> I'm gonna set myself on fire. And it worked, I'm feeling way better. I still sound congested, but I feel great, so. I'm really happy. I was really nervous that this was gonna like kill my lungs because this is my second time with COVID. And the first time I got it was also during St. Jude time. And I, I got it like less than a week before our finale. And at that time I wasn't traveling for the finale. It was just an at-home thing. And um, I tested negative the night before the finale. And so I went live and like started dancing and I was like, Whoa. I was like, dude, I can't breathe. It was so hard. So I feel great today. I'm still gonna take it easy and maybe we'll like move up a little bit, but like, I feel great. So yeah, I love the Clementine makeup. Oh, I wasn't going for Clementine, but it is kind of Clementine, isn't it? In person, it looks more like purple, but it looks pink on camera. Oh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> It kind of is close to my, well, not really. Never mind. <gasps> Squid! Oh my God, dude. Thank you so much for the $100. For all kid, you have a good heart. For all kid. Can we get some for all kids in the chat, please? That is so generous. Thank you so much. You just paid for a red wagon. Do you guys want to see the red wagon in action? <laughs> Y'all want to see what it looks like? Hold on, let me pull up, give me, give me more. So... <laughs> I begged them. I was like, can we please use a red wagon for this video? I promise we'll be done quickly. And they were like, well, we don't have like, we don't have like red wagons for like, like sharing. Like all the red wagons we have are just for patients. And I was like, we will be so fast. I prom I only need this for like 30 seconds, I promise. And they were like, we'll see what we can do. And they got it. <laughs> Look at her. Dude, that girl is 14 and she fits in there. <laughs> Kira. <laughs> I have photos of me dancing like really focused and then Kira, Trev, and Faith in the background just like cackling <laughs> from like moving around so much. <laughs> Oh, it's so good. Anyways, you just bought a red wagon for St. Jude, so thank you so much. Where's my cheering sound effect? Bruh. <laughs> Bruh, you just bought a red wagon. <laughs> it was so funny. <laughs> Why do they keep needing more red wagons? Because they keep bringing in more patients. Dude, St. Jude has expanded like so insanely during um, the pandemic. Like when I went to the summit, in 2019, before the pandemic started, um, they had like three buildings. And then during the pandemic, they were like, well, we might as well use this as a way to expand. And now they have like their own zip code. It's crazy. They've like, 
they've almost like tripled in size and they're still building more like housing units to bring in more patients. They're bringing in patients from all over the world and they keep expanding how many people they bring in. So yeah, like 8,000 patients a year. Literally, it's wild. They expand so much. I think it's really nice to, to like support a charity like St. Jude where you can see like with your own eyes the impact. I think that's really important because like, <clears throat> Um, there are some charities where I get a little nervous. Not that I'm trying to like talk crap about charities, but there's like one certain charity for animals that reportedly spent like 80% of their donations on like celebrity endorsements. And I was like, I don't think that's where I'd want my donations to go. And we have a place like St. Jude where they will literally bring you out to show you what they're doing with the money you've donated. Like, it's like, they they are they are so transparent about where their money's going. And you can literally see it in like all the buildings they've built. And now they have like, they also built their own, um, like a, I don't want to call it a school because I feel like it's like legally not a school, but they built their own like education center. So sorry, I'm yapping about St. Jude today, but I love St. Jude. Um, I was talking to Faith and she was held back a year because she spent so much time at St. Jude and she couldn't do her schoolwork. And they had to hold her back because she missed so much school from getting chemotherapy and stuff. And um, they, like St. Jude knows that that's a pain point. Like when you spend so much time away from school, it's going to affect like your like future with school. And like if you get held back or if you graduate on time or whatever, <clears throat> excuse me, Jesus. Sorry, those birds come out of nowhere. And they built their own like like um, education center where they can get tutored and do their homework on campus so that they don't miss school and they continue to get an education like while they're o o undergoing treatment, which is like a like they St. Jude looks at every pain point and they're like no problem, we'll fix it. Like like the red wagons. Like wheelchairs are scary and daunting and like kind of frightening to look at, so they're like got it red wagons <laughs> you have space for your toys it's colorful it's not terrifying like we got red wagons <laughs> like they're just so like i just love saint jude so much they take every pain point and they try to make it as easy as possible so i just love them rad thank you so much for the 25 dollars for all kid every single kid thank you so much um let's do an easy song i kind of want to do dispenser I when you do this better. How are you feeling? Oh, way better. So much better. Yeah, I, I think I sound, I still sound really congested, but like, I don't feel it. I've only blown my nose like once this morning, so I feel great. I'm just, I'm so happy to be back to fundraising because every May I start the month off like so motivated and like so ready to like crush goals and raise money. And then it's like, you get COVID go lay down <laughs> and I'm like no I want to fundraise so I'm just happy to be here fundraising so thank you everyone who's been donating I appreciate it
It's so fun! Oh, it's such a fun one. Priorities, thank you for the $10 for the kids. Thank you so much. I love a last minute megastar. I know it's a crappy score. I don't care. I don't care. It's so satisfying. It makes me wish that there was um, a star for um, 13K. Because getting like a last minute 13K would be like, oh, ultra star. Aww. Oh, here we go, hair and everyone put on your seatbelts. <clears throat> Normally, I'm not a serious kind of the guy, but when it is as good cause does this, I hope we are all on the same page, or at least the other side of the page, so that we're connectioned and can have belief in donutions to make the world a, a smiler place for our children. Hard to believe that people can do so much good, but by helping them, you are helping child too. Donate today. <laughs> Heron, that was actually really sweet. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> that message requires some effort. That's how reading anything felt with COVID. I was just typing that in PB2. I was, <laughs> I texted Compact. I texted Compact because I was like, dude, the brain fog when you get COVID is crazy because I spent a full day looking for one of my hair clips and I could not find it anywhere. And then the next morning I opened my utensil drawer to get a spoon out and the clip was in my utensil drawer. <laughs> the amoebas, the COVID amoebas were eating my brain. Oh my God. Um, Eric, thank you for the $2. Hey, Avery, thank you for doing my request for Can't Tamer. You're such a powerful dancer. Thank you, Avery. Thank you so much. Thank you for donating. I appreciate it so much. Thank you. Um, we're really close to 54,000. We are, th math, $366 away. $366 away from 54,000. We're very close. Um, just a reminder, I'm making a drag race audition tape at 60K. <laughs> Um, I will show it on stream, but I'll also upload it to the live channel so you guys can like watch it. So, COVID definitely left me on brain too. At least you are all health now. <laughs> yes, I'm making a drag race audition tape as not an Olympian, my drag persona, <laughs> which is spelled not an Olympian, but you can call me not an <laughs> for sure. Um, what's another good easy song? Ooh, good ones. <gasps> we have to do Million Dollar Baby because Center Stage just hit a million dollars. We have to. We have to. It's so perfect. Which, by the way, I wanted to let you guys know at the end of stream, um, when we hit a million dollars on stream the other day, I used the confetti cannon that I got from St. Jude, but it was kind of weak. So I bought my own. <laughs> And is ginormous. So we're doing that at the end of stream to celebrate a million. It's huge. It's so big. 
Oh, I love this one. I love this dance. Minute Mega Star. Oh, I love it. Five points, brother. <laughs> I love that map. When Can Tamer got announced and the preview came out, someone in the comments said, "A thousand times more energy than Ava Max." <laughs> and I was like, "To be honest, I like this one too. <laughs> I can't even compare the two because I love this one. It's so fun." <laughs> <sighs> Brother, ew. Ew. Do we have the brats, ew? Oh my god, we do! <laughs> ew. <laughs> ew. <laughs> I love that emote. Um, Chad, do we have any easy song requests? We got magic, we got good ones, we got some seated dances. Shishi that walk. Therefore, I am is not easy. That's crazy. That one's hard. Oh, we got top of the world. Oh, Whitney would be nice. Whitney's not easy. Oh, that's crazy. What is it, medium? Oh, uh, it's medium? Really? 
<laughs> so close. We almost had Lyle. <laughs> we almost had Lyle Lyle. <laughs> Kelly's here. Hi, BB. Your stream yesterday was so great. Um, Kelly did like a uh, an AAPI month, um, uh, like Raid Train stream yesterday, and it was so good. It was just so wonderful. She was like talking about her experiences growing up. Um, I already forgot where you said you were from, I'm so sorry. Or where you said your other half of your ethnicity is from, but talking about growing up Asian and like how people treat you as like an Asian American. And like, I think it's Taiwanese, thank you. Um, and uh, it's like really educational for people like me who don't experience the kind of stuff that you experience. Like, like I'm white, so like I'm not gonna experience anything weird because of my race. And I think hearing um, experiences from people of color keeps me really like educated and sensitive. And it was so educational. And I know for you, you kept saying like, I really hope this isn't a downer. I hope this isn't like bringing the mood down or anything. But I was like, I was dialed in, bruh. I was like, keep talking, cause like I'm learning so much. And also you should be able to talk to it, talk about your experiences growing up Asian and like an Asian woman as well without feeling bad for it. So thank you so much for the con conversations you were having yesterday. It was so, so important. And also it was a great stream. At no point was I like, man, this is kind of a bummer. <laughs> this is kind of a bummer, I'm gonna head out. It was like really important. So thank you so much. I love Kelly. Kelly is just like, that girl works so hard. This girl brought her whole streaming setup to the St. Jude Summit so that we could stream from the hotel. This girl works so hard.
Dude, I feel so good today. I don't want to like jinx it, but I, d I feel like COVID didn't affect my lungs at all this time. I feel great. Although I do got to pee, but I don't think that's a COVID thing. I feel great. <laughs> Hi, Pines, how are you? <sighs> Knock on wood. No, please. Yeah, the cats are like running around today. Did I tell you guys I got, I got bored while I had COVID? Shocker, because I was stuck inside. Um, but I forgot that I got, um, I bought a catnip plant from the grocery store like a week before. And the catnip plant, it's like a form of mint and mint grows like crazy apparently. And um, so I went to check on it and it had a ton of leaves. So I cut them off and I made, I made, um, a uh, catnip tea for the cats. Like I just put it, I put the leaves in some water and like boiled it. And then obviously I poured it into like some ice and some like lukewarm water to like even it out. And I made sure it was like not boiling when I gave it to them, but I gave it to them. They were rolling. Dude. <laughs> oh my God. They just like, it, I could see them sniffing it and licking it and then raising their head and just going pew. <laughs> like the eyes just went <laughs> it was so funny and it kept them, <laughs> it kept them awake the whole day they were just running around like rolling on the floor and stuff oh my god it was so funny it was so fun <laughs> and then I think they had a little hangover the next day because they didn't wake me up at 5 a.m. I got to sleep in and I woke up and they were still passed out and I was like ah oh, rough day <laughs> happy April 20th dear <laughs> It's weird because it affects them both differently. Like Wasabi gets really like, he rolls on the floor and gets really snuggly. And then Sesame gets like hyper. Like it affects them both super differently. It's weird. My donation message is too long. Donation message, I didn't get one. I don't have one from you. Or is it not letting you type? You can type it in chat if you want. They had the best night of their nine lives, literally. <laughs> Passed out with an empty funniest but... <laughs> Literally. <laughs> Watching extreme couponing on the TV. <laughs> um, okay, I'm actually gonna take a quick break. I'm not tired, but I have to pee really bad. And I wanna make more tea just to keep my throat, okay? So, <gasps> red wagon! We got red wagons, oh my God! Now hold on just a second, red wagon. Red Wagon! If you donate $100, you buy a Red Wagon for St. Jude. Um, we're still fundraising for St. Jude. I don't have any incentives going today because it's my first dance stream since I beat COVID with my bare hands. So I'm trying to take it a little easy today. Um, I'm feeling great though, so I feel like I'm like kind of back to normal, despite sounding a little congested. Um, but, um, if you would like to still donate, it would be much appreciated. There are hospital rewards you can buy on the Tiltify page when you donate, like $10 buys a new toy for the hospital, $25 pays for four Nomo chemo parties, stuff like that. So um, thank you everyone who's been donating. I really appreciate it. I know I don't have any like super fun incentives today. I'm just trying to take it easy. So I appreciate you donating, thank you. I'm gonna go take a, a pee break and I'm gonna play the highlights and I hope you like them and I'll be right back. In our streets, there are secrets to unlock. <laughs> I'm sorry. The cinematic boom <laughs> when she opens this case. <laughs> in every corner. <gasps> Excuse me. I farted. Thank you for gifting a sub to I'm 12 and what is this? <laughs> and also, Fergie, thank you for gifting a sub to I'm 12, what is this? <laughs> It seems our prosecutor is quite beside himself. Uh, excuse me, knock, knock. Who's there? <laughs> this guy is so stupid. Oh my. You're on my TV, how do you feel? Hello, can I have $20? <laughs> no. <laughs> can I? Cause like sometimes if I'm watching TV, like lately I've been binging Degrassi. Where are their parents? Where are their parents? Nothing good ever happens in that show. I was just telling JP the other day, like someone will be like, I got us tickets to the concert. And then the concert explodes. 
You, you need to donate to St. Jude now. My name is Little Zia, and for all of May, I'll be fundraising for St. Jude Children's Research Hospital. St. Jude Children's Research Hospital is an amazing hospital based in Memphis, Tennessee, that takes in pediatric patients facing life-threatening illnesses completely for free. <laughs> Enunciate. Families of St. Jude do not pay a single dime for cutting edge technology that is not normally covered by insurance. Housing, travel, chemotherapy, radiation, doctor's visits, everything is completely covered by St. Jude so that all families have to worry about is making sure their kid is okay. They're also a research hospital, which means they research their own treatments and cures for life-threatening illnesses such as cancer. Here at Little Sea Incorporated, we love St. Jude and we fundraise every May for St. Jude Play Live because it's a really special event. And here's how you can help. Step one. Donate some money. There's no donation that's too big or too small that doesn't contribute to the hospital. And here are some facts that prove that true. A $10 donation can buy a new toy for the hospital. $25 covers four no more chemo parties for patients who have just finished their chemotherapy. And $50 pays for art supplies at the hospital for the kids. And if you wanna be a little high roller, $1,500 covers a whole day of chemotherapy for a kid. Step Ooh. Donate your time. Because time is a societal construct that we cannot comprehend nor control, so it's better to make the most of it before the end of this mortal coil. If you can't donate money, that's no problem. Donating word of mouth is just as important. Every time I go live to fundraise for St. Jude, you can retweet the tweet, like the tweet, or my favorite, reply to the tweet with your favorite meme. Step three, how Fun. <laughs> I love fundraising in May because I get to do all these stupid things for charity and as long as you're enjoying the show, that's all that matters to me. Thank you so much for watching the stream and I hope to see you in the chat room donating. Thank you. <laughs> I need media training. Uh, I, don't, I don't know about this one. <laughs> uh, so, um, so I, <laughs> thank you so much. <laughs> Oh, oh, God. Seriously? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh, that ending of all nights rocking. <laughs> so thank you, Avery. We love you so much. And um, if there's one thing that you wanted to say about um, this trip so far, what would you like to say? I boobied in my pants. <laughs> And just like that, folks, she boobied <laughs> in her pants. Listen, I gotta give some like, this next clip, all right? I need y'all to understand, this person, this person, continuously is on my nerves. <laughs> in the best way, mind you. So, uh, hey, Mr. Producer, let's take a look at the number one donation clip and the recipient of the $10,000 donation towards their goal for St. Jude. Let's see who it is. Welcome back to St. Jude Play Live. <laughs> Today, we raise money for the children and their families. If you've got any money, you better give it up right now. This is a robbery. <laughs> it's that girl who robbed us. Welcome back, everybody. Thank you for waiting. I sure did rob Twitch of $10,000, and I'll do it again. <laughs> and I'm not afraid to do it again. <laughs> Thank you. Um, I thought we would check in with the tweet responses. Um, I was telling you all that um, if you are not able to donate money, another way to donate is word of mouth. And it's literally just like respond. Sesame's honking, I think he sees a bird. Um, one of the best ways to spread word of mouth is literally just to interact with the going live tweet that I make whenever I go live to fundraise. And I've told people, literally just respond with pictures of your pets. That's like the best way to spread word of mouth so that more people see it. Just post photos of your pets. So let's look at some pets. These are screw no. <laughs> He's on my screw, no. <laughs> little baby, little dumpster baby, little baby. I don't want to be a part of a world where being kind is a weakness. Oh, Keanu, thank you, Lego. <gasps> oh my God, what a cool colored cat. I don't think I've ever seen a gray and orange cat. 
That's a rare shiny cat right there. <laughs> Thank you, Allison. Oh, another toasted marshmallow. We got the Taco Bell. Dude, <laughs> Kira, <laughs> Kira posted a screenshot. <laughs> she posted a screenshot on Twitter the other day and goes, oh my God, my angel numbers. And the screenshot is her Taco Bell order. <laughs> That totals out to eight dollars and eighty-eight cents. <laughs> she said, "My angel number." <laughs> thank you, thank you, Becca, uh, Ophia. Thank you very much. Oh my God, who has who has ducks? Is that another duck right there? What is that? Or is that a bird? Genetic therapist, you have ducks. How am I just now learning this? Calicos and torties can have a dilute gene that makes their colors more pale. Oh, interesting. That's so cool. We got ducks. <gasps> we got a cat with toes. Also, I hope you're not naked so I don't get <laughs> banned for this. <laughs> Ellie's like, let me just send you my cat nudes real quick. <laughs> my body, wait, hold on, hold on. I'm ready for this, hold on. My body is a machine that turns minor inconveniences into loss of will to live. Pre-order the new F-150 today. <laughs> Thank you. I'm not clicking that. Thank you for the bones, Ari. Thank you, Denied, for the meme. Thank you, everyone who's been responding with all their... Um, I went to the wrong screen. With all the pictures of their pets. I appreciate it. Thank you. We got one more. Oh wait, we got more! Let's go! Every time I do this, people are like, wait, I'm running to go give you my pet. Hold on, we got a few more and then we're going back to dancing. I promise. We got some new we got some new ones. <gasps> Bobby! Over the years I've always watched Avery Fundraise for St. Jude, and in those same years my puppies become a dog! Little baby dog! <gasps> Gamer, we got Minecraft kitten. Minecraft kit. Is that a Discord kitten? <gasps> it's a Discord kitten. Oh no. Oh my God, dude, I love fluffy cats. I got so much hair. I just wanna pet them, sweet baby. <gasps> Another wasabi clone. I love how many of these cats there are. <laughs> these ones are all over the place. <laughs> oh, so sweet. Okay, again, wrong screen, Avery, but whatever, here we are. <laughs> Here we are, I guess. Um, Boomstay, thank you so much for the $5. Um, this donation in is, is in honor of the late... Oh, the name got cut off. Who is it for? No, it's there. It's just that the name is cut off. This donation is, is in honor of the late someone, a voice actor whose work inspired me to pursue the art of acting and many others who lost his life to stage four colon cancer in 2022. The VO community misses you every day. We'll never forget you. Oh, Billy Kamitz? Billy Kamitz. I hope I'm saying his name right. Billy Kamitz. <gasps> he did lots of anime. Anime and video games. He was in JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. <gasps> he was in Persona 5. Oh, and Fire Emblem. Oh, thank you for dedicating that. That's very sweet. It's so hard when you lose someone who's like a total inspiration to you. It's so hard. So thank you for dedicating that. That was very kind. Thank you. Um, all right, we're gonna pick another easy one. I'll let you guys off this time and I won't do Top of the World, but I do really wanna do the Just Dance 2 version of Toxic. <laughs> I love this dance. It holds up so well. It holds up so well after all these years. I'm not, maybe. Maybe if we hit 54,000, I'll do top of the world. Oh, maybe. Hello, nurse. Oh, yeah, it is the nurse. I have this cosplay now. Woo! Wee woo.
That dance holds up so well after all this time. It's so fun. <sighs> Hi, bye, Frog. How are you? Don't you know mods are toxic? That's a great segue into the mod tournament. So we're in the semifinals now. We are officially in the semifinals with our top four horrible mods. Always eating hair. Literally always eating hair. I'm never not living without hair stuck in my mouth. It's so annoying. I don't know if it's like the blue dye that makes my hair sticky or something. I don't know. I don't know what it is. Um, where are we at? All right, well, <laughs> um, Becca and Godfane are winning by quite a few hundred dollars, like $700 as worst mods. Y'all still have until Wednesday to vote. So you still have until Wednesday to turn things around, but so far Becca and Godfine will be the ones moving on to the finals. Unless someone gets real spicy <laughs> and feels like donating for JP or Anthuan. Poor Anthuan made it through because his birthday landed on the, the dance-a-thon finale. So people were donating like crazy for him and now they've just left him in the dust. They've just left him behind. They're like, your birthday's over, so I don't care anymore. <laughs> So y'all have until Wednesday, you have a few more days. And then the last week of St. Jude is gonna be all finals. Just bathing on stream. Just bathing on stream. <laughs> um, oh my gosh, Center Stage crossed $140,000 today. Dude, hold on, hold on, hold on. This was like, this is our goal for the entire month. We're so close to the goal, 150. We're so close. Wee woo, wee woo. Wee woo. That is my little man. That is my little man just bathing on stream. It's so funny because he like, <laughs> cat lore, um, Sesame like doesn't clean himself and it's really gross. <laughs> it's really gross. Like sometimes I'm like, your butt is like poopy and Wasabi has to clean it for him. Wasabi has to give him a bath. Cause he, like Sesame just doesn't clean himself. It's foul. It's so gross. I'm like, <laughs> please learn to bathe. And sometimes I have to like swipe his back with like a wet towel because that makes them feel like there's something there. So it like instinctively makes them bathe. Cause they're like, oh, I gotta get whatever that is off. But I'm like, I shouldn't have to ask you. <laughs> you should just be bathing, please. Both Sesame and Wasabi caught on stream. It's, it's the leftovers of the catnip tea I made them. <laughs> Why would he if Wasabi's there? That's true. Wasabi is his, <laughs> Wasabi is his bath, I guess. Um, Survivor fitness version is easy? I guess learning it is pretty easy. Um, I kind of want to do Calm Down. Calm Down is really cute. I like this one. The idiot animal, that's my cat. <laughs> that's both of my cats, the idiot animals. I wasn't sure I was gonna like this one, but I really like it now. Hi Wayne, how are you? Thank you everyone who's been like subbing or resubbing. I really appreciate it. I muted those alerts just because it's like too much with the donations and stuff, but thank you. I appreciate it a lot. Calm down so you can calm down and cool down. <laughs> well, we're only kind of doing easy songs today. I'm like not even sweating. Which feels good. Like, I thought I was gonna... <gasps> Trev hit his 1K goal! Yay! Yay, Trev! Oh, we love Trev! If he's still live when I'm done, we'll go raid him. But I think I got some time left. Oh, he has to do Isadora? Bruh. Bruh. <laughs> yeah, I'm recovering well. Misu, thank you so much for asking. So... Um, I wanted to like take it easy and just do easy songs today to like ease myself back into dancing um, because this is my second time with COVID and the first time I had it, it killed my lungs, dude. Like it, it made it so hard to breathe and like trying to catch my breath was really hard. So I wanted to take it easy today, but I actually feel great. I feel really good. So I think um, if we dance again this week, it'll be like medium hard songs and maybe like one extreme. 
but it's been nice to I've, I've been so nervous because I'm like dude my speed run is in like six days it's on Saturday and I was like if my lungs can't hold up it's over for me but I feel great so yeah woohoo I love that dance! Oh, it makes me so happy. It's such a sweet dance. I know! At every time I see that map, I think of Trev and Megan. Their video for it is so beautiful. It's so sweet. It's crazy when you see two people who have so much chemistry, but they're not even in the same room. Wild. And then watching them, <laughs> watching them do it at the finale, we were all like... That's so beautiful. They're so fun together. They just love each other so much. <laughs> it's so sweet. How did you pick them randomly? Pick who? MZ! Hi, honey. We love gremlins. I cry, she cried, we crowed. <laughs> I cried. 
crowed my pants. <laughs> uh, Trev and Megan for Calm Down? It's because they made a video for it together. Back, I think back when like 2024 came out, they made a video together and I was like, this is like one of my favorite Just Dance videos ever because they have so much chemistry, but they're not even in the same room. <laughs> it was like so impressive. Um, so when they were coming to the finale, I was like, would you guys want to do like calm down together in person? And they were like, yeah. <laughs> so I sent them, I sent them the VOD section of that in case they want to upload it to YouTube, which I think they will, but I don't know who's going to upload it. But um, I was like, whatever you want, you can have it. Cause it was so sweet. The chemistry was so sweet, dude. It's just like, to me, that's what dancing is. It's not even like being, like technical or like good. It's just like having chemistry with the person you're dancing with because it's so vulnerable. Dancing is like such a like vulnerable thing to do, which I think is why so many people are like, no, I won't dance, I won't dance. Cause it's like, it's a really hard thing to do to like show your emotions like that. So to see two people who like really care about each other and like are good friends, just like let it go and dance and like look at each other and be like, hey, like it was just so sweet. It's so sweet. <sighs> <laughs> like you and Ariana in the Bring Me to Live video. Oh my God. I was like, <laughs> I got to turn up the lesbian angst on this one. <laughs> I got to stare Ariana in the eyes and be like, <laughs> I got to have like a, uh, what's Billie Eilish's new album name? Hit Me Hard and Soft. I got to have that kind of moment. I listened to the whole album this morning. So good, dude. Oh my God. Every song is like so different but like so good in its own way. Oh my God, Billy's new album is incredible, dude. It's crazy because like I was excited for Ariana Grande's album and I was kind of disappointed. And then I was excited for Dua Lipa's album. I was kind of disappointed. And I wasn't really like anticipating Billie Eilish's because she makes a lot of sad songs and it's hard to listen to sad songs without getting sad. But it came out yesterday and I was like, I'll listen to it while I get ready this morning. Oh my God, banger after banger. Dude, what's the one? There was one that made me like tear up while I was doing, I was doing dishes this morning and one made me tear up. It's the one where she's like, um, I loved you and I still do. Is it the greatest? I think it's the greatest. I was like, <sighs> ooh. <laughs> ooh, the COVID's back. <laughs> My eyes are watering. <laughs> Woo! Yeah, that whole album is incredible, dude. I and also I was listening to it with my air or my AirPods in, so I could like do chores and stuff. And I was like, I'm having an experience right now. It sounded like it was like all around me, and I was like, whoa, <laughs> so good, so good. The whole album is so good. It seems like they never have an issue putting Billy's music on Just Dance, so I hope they get lunch or um... there was another one I liked. Lunch is really good. Oh, I would love Birds of a Feather. Oh, <laughs> Birds of a Feather. Birds of a Feather, we should stick together. It might not be forever, but if it is, it's even better. Ah, I got all the lyrics wrong, I don't care. It's such a good album, dude. Oh my God. It's crazy because I wasn't even anticipating it to be like an album I really liked and I listened the whole thing through and I was like, this is a great album. <laughs> Three songs at Fortnite Festival already? Damn. She said, I loved you and we all cried. My GF came home sobbing. I nearly had have, have this woman a heart attack. Wait, why? Wait, why'd she get a heart attack? Not like a real one, but. Yeah, Birds of a Feather is so sweet. It's also such a new sound for her because it's very like light and like, I don't know. A lot of her music is quite dark and it's like really light and her voice pairs really well with it. She's so talented, dude. Oh, this girl, this little girl is so talented. <laughs> She's like 22. <laughs> this little girl. Um, Can I do Woof? The diner? Which one's the diner? Because at some point I stopped looking at the... Oh, it's towards the end. At some point I just let it play in my AirPods and I stopped looking at the title so I don't remember what the last ones are called. I want to listen to it again though. 
Yeah, she's less breathy and she's like singing more like strongly. Like when she started singing at the end of The Greatest, I was like, oh my God. <laughs> Such a good out. Anyway, sorry, sorry. I just love the album so much. It's so great. Every song is last minute megastar. It's so good. <laughs> Everyone. <sighs> Aliens are little freaks for sure. <laughs> but I love them. There's so much like, I think I love this game so much because there's so much sci-fi in it. Like almost every map is like very, like there's aliens, they're in like a different universe or a different galaxy or whatever. It's so cool. So many of the maps are like super, it reminds me of Mass Effect. <laughs> Have you guys ever heard of Mass Effect? My favorite game of all time. It just reminds me of Mass Effect. Melina, thank you, that's very sweet. Yes, Iraj, I'm feeling so much better. So I tested negative last night and I was like, I don't wanna get ahead of myself. I'm gonna wait until the morning and test again, just to be sure. And I tested again this morning, still negative, not even a faint line, nothing, like just completely flat. I even took like a zoomed in photo of it so I could like analyze it and make sure there wasn't a faint line, but there was nothing. So I'm negative. And then I was like, I really need to like get my stamina back for the, the speed run. Because for anyone who might be new here, every year for St. Jude, we do a speed run of the most recent Just Dance game. 
um, where I play every single song in the game back to back with no breaks. It's like a marathon for like three and a half hours. Um, and <laughs> I scheduled mine for next Saturday. And I was like, man, I really need to like start dancing again and like get my stamina back and make sure that like my lungs are okay after having COVID. And I was really nervous my lungs were gonna be tight because that's how it was the last time I got COVID. And I feel great, dude. I feel great. Thank God for the booster because it could have been so much worse. Um, but yeah, I, I feel great. I wanted to start today with only like easy songs that aren't too hard to do. And I feel really good. So I think if we play it again this week, I'll do like a normal stream. Yeah. <sighs> What's up next week uh, besides the speed run and sewing? I don't know. I Now that I'm negative and I'm feeling better, I need to actually schedule everything because I had like three incentives scheduled for this week. And then when I tested positive, I was like, I feel awful. <laughs> I feel so bad. I can't do any of this. So I canceled them all. So now I have to schedule it. Since today's Sunday, I can schedule them today. I'll, I'll schedule that out today. Negative vibes only in the chat. <laughs> yeah, we're doing, okay, so the JD24 speed run is next Saturday at 10 a.m. Pacific, which is like the normal time I go live. Um, JP will be reading donations throughout the entire three and a half hours. Um, and it is literally me dancing to every song back to back with no breaks. I won't be talking to chat. I won't be able to be on the mic or anything. Um, but JP will be reading donations between songs. And um, this is like one of my favorite events of the whole year. Like it's so difficult, but it's like such a, it's like such an accomplishment when I finish it and I'm like, I did it. <laughs> I did it, I did the marathon. So I'm excited. And also it gets people like, people get really hyped up for the speed run. So I can't wait, it's gonna be fun. Yay. Yay. <laughs> it is rewarding. It feels good to finish it. And last year was the first year I did the speed run after starting to go to the gym. And last year was like easy. Like normally when I finish the speed run, I'm like out of breath and I'm like, Ooh, and I'm like dying. And last year I was like, what's up guys? <laughs> Just did the speed run. I felt really good. So 10 a.m. Pacific on Saturday. And I'll tweet when I'm live and like post about it when I'm live and stuff too. I think I posted, oh, I'd have to post it again. I posted a countdown on Instagram, but I'll put it on the, I'll put it on the thing. Did you ever figure out the gifts of giving thing? Uh, the toolkit? Yeah, we have it up, I think. Um, let's see. Oh, we hit them all. <laughs> we hit them all. Do you guys want to see what we paid for, for hitting our 50K, um, our 50K, uh, What's it called? Oh God, I'm ruining everything. Where'd it go? We hit our 50K goal. We could help provide a daily room rate of the ICU, a course of proton therapy for a brain tumor patient. That's wild, cause that's really expensive. Bruh, the proton therapy is wild. They use these like lasers to like kill just um, like, it kills all the cancer in a brain tumor, but it also leaves like a slight um, like layer left so that it doesn't actually go into the brain and like destroy any part of the brain. Wild. A day of inpatient care for CT scans. Bro, that's what we paid for. Or that's what we legally could have paid for. <laughs> St. Jude, don't sue me, please. <laughs> we could on average of diagnosis and cost Subject to inflation, allegedly we could have paid for four CT scans. I'm not out here trying to get sued by St. Jude, okay? This is gonna be my first year hopefully attempting the speed run. Ooh, good luck! It's hard, man. It's really tough, but you can do it. It's crazy seeing everything put into perspective. Honestly, when you, I think like, I think when you donate money, you're like, cool, I donated money for charity, but when you actually see what it goes for and what it pays for, goes toward and what it pays for, it's like really impressive. And like, it makes you feel a lot better because you're like, oh, that's what that money means. Like the $4 thing that I talk about all the time, get ready, because I'm about to yap. So we get a lot of people who will donate like a couple bucks or five bucks or whatever. And in their, in their message, they'll be like, I'm really sorry, this is all I can afford right now. $4, $4 pays for two sanitation isolation suits so that parents can go visit their kid in the ICU because they have to wear like isolation suits to go in. And um, they, there's like a, 
decontamination process and stuff to go in and see them to make sure they don't bring any harmful bacteria to their kid in the ICU. And I think it's easy to be like, okay, it buys the suits. Realistically, it buys a moment. Like, it pays for a moment for those parents to go spend with their kid during one of, like, the hardest days of their life. Because ICU, if you're in the ICU, bruh, it's a struggle. It is hard. That's intensive care. Intensive care. And I think when your child is diagnosed with, like, a really life-threatening illness, every single moment is important. Like, every single moment is precious and really matters. And those $4 literally bought a moment for a family, for parents to spend with their kids when their kids need it the most. Like, it is, your dollar goes so much farther than you realize. So, yeah. Anyway, sorry. I love yapping about the $4 thing. Because people always donate and they're like, I'm so sorry, all I can afford is five bucks. And I'm like, if you apologize one more time, I'm gonna commit violence. <laughs> I'm gonna hit you. <laughs> I won't, I promise, but <laughs> I'm like, do not apologize because you paid for more than you realize. You really did. For Evan! Hi, Wee Wee, how are you? Um, I also promised at 54,000, we would do Top of the World from Lyle Lyle Crocodile, so. Where the Lyle stands. Rise up, Lyle stands. <laughs> Until we hit that, I'm gonna pick another one. Oh, wouldn't it be nice is really sweet. Wait, you know what? Let's look at JD Plus. What's easy on JD Plus? Oh, it's doing my songs first. Okay, hold on. Easy, easy. <gasps> Ain't No Mountain High Enough is really sweet. Oh. I am my own muse is not easy. I ain't doing that. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh my God, the text on this is huge. Uh, the text is ginormous. <laughs> Ain't no mountain high enough sing-along version. Oh, they're really on one today. <laughs> oh my god! Caldrack! Holy crap! Thank you so much for donating $250? You just paid for a family meal card that lasts a whole week. It is a week, right? Let me see. No, that's more than a week. That's like two weeks. That's almost two weeks of groceries for a family. Bruh, thank you so much. Cal, that's so kind. Oh, you voted in a poll? Who's poll? Oh, Becca. <laughs> Man, people really hate Becca. <laughs> Speak of the devil. Hi, Becca. <laughs> Um, thank you so much. That's really kind. I also want to remind y'all, if you are planning on donating $250 or more, you can actually start a matching challenge on Tiltify, where you're basically saying, I'll donate $250 if y'all raise $250. And your $250 thing doesn't go through until we raise it. And you can do anything over $250. Like someone, someone during the finale did a $2,000 match. Insane. <laughs> My new job has kept me from being here throughout the month, but I had to donate for the kiddos. Thank you so much, dude. Thank you. That was really, really kind. Thank you so much. And I hope your new job's going okay. New jobs are scary, dude. It makes me, it always makes me feel so inferior to like mess something up on a new job. Or like not know, like I remember my first time, <laughs> my first day working at GameStop, I was so nervous. It was my first day on the register and I was checking someone out and I told them, uh, I was like, your total is $19 and 5d5 cents. I mean 5d5, I mean 55 cents. <laughs> I was so nervous. <laughs> it's like such a core memory for me to be like 5d5 cents. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> I was like, ah! Please give me the money. Me on this too intelligent new Vegas place. <laughs> it couldn't be me, I'm zero intelligence. <laughs> Hi Jay!
What a day to be alone. How lonely and single are you feeling on a scale from one to 10? Can I tell y'all something? This is the years of therapy speaking. I really like being alone. <laughs> I really like it. There is no part of me that's like, but I need to date someone. But what if I don't get married by the time I'm 30? What if I die alone? I really like being alone. It's really nice. Like all of the love that I've given to like previous partners, I give to myself. Like I take myself on dates, obviously not right now or not this week because I had COVID so I'm not going anywhere. But like I give it to myself and like I talk to myself and I journal and like I do everything I've ever wanted to do. Like everything I wanted to do that like previous partners kind of like either discouraged from me or like held me back from doing. And it's the best, dude. I'm sorry, but like, hot take, being alone is great. It's great, I love it, dude. It's, there, in the past like two years, there has not been a part of me that's like, but what if I don't date anyone? What if I die alone? Like, I'm not dying alone, because I'm dying with me. And I love me. I'm like my best friend. So, it's great, dude. I hate to say it, but like, there's no part of me when I dance to these maps where it's like two people in love where I'm like, man, I feel awful. <laughs> no, I love it. It's great, dude. I love being single. Yeah. <laughs> I like being single, but not alone. Love you chat. Oh, well you have us. <laughs> Ew, I disagree. You're in a relationship with chat. <laughs> Ew. Thank you, Gom. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, you have us. You do have us. <laughs> Ew. Gross. <laughs> um, applause is easy. I'm thinking of intensity again. I'm getting 
it confused with intensity. Oh, we should do Bad Guy in honor of Billy's new album. We should do this one. Yeah. <laughs> Twitch cooties, ew. No, it's great because like, obviously if I meet someone that I'm interested in, then I will like give it a chance. But like, I'm not so like desperate to date someone that I'm like, I'll date anyone. Like, I really like being alone. I'm not in a rush. I'm not in a rush to date someone. Or like, I'm not, I'm not willing to settle for someone that I don't see like eye to eye with, you know? So it's great, dude. I love being alone. Oh, I cannot imagine how heavy this coat is or how warm this coat is. This thing looks, I feel like if I dance in this, I'd puke. <laughs> I'd throw up. Oh, Blair. And I left it under Blair. <laughs> Yeah, when did they add names? Did they update it recently? Blair is such a cool name. I love that name. <laughs> 90 maps? Damn. But they didn't fix the multiplayer. I'm sorry. She sees, but maybe it's cause I'm wearing your cologne.
I heard one of them <laughs> rolling this ball around behind the curtain, and I was so scared they were gonna like bat it out of the curtain and like at my feet. And I kept turning around and be like, what is that? <laughs> they survived though, so it's fine. Mandy! Hi, sunshine! Neighborhood person, thank you for the one dollar for the kids. Thank you so much. We are a hundred and ten dollars away from doing Lyle Lyle Crocodile. So I know y'all are such big fans of of the movie. <laughs> really close. Hi Zypoid, almost happy. I almost I thought you said almost a year. <laughs> happy five months, almost a year. <laughs> yeah, Mandy's so cool. I have your um, friendship bracelet in my jewelry cabinet right now. I love that bracelet. I want to wear it, but I'm so scared that the wire's going to snap and all the beads are going to go everywhere, so I'm scared of it. <sighs> Can I repeat a question about a JD song? Sure. $110. Yeah, I got two friendship bracelets at the summit. It was so sweet. Oh, I love friendship bracelets. Yeah, make me as many as you want. Can I donate to your campaign for friendship bracelets? Lyle Lyle, best movie of whatever year that movie came out in. I think it was 2022. Because it was in JD23. Would you deem Exo Monster to be an easy map? No. <laughs> that's the one with the microwave move, right? No. Sorry. <laughs> I'd say that's like somewhere between medium and hard. It was legally considered a movie. It was a movie of time, of all time. <laughs> it came out <laughs> it was released that's true <laughs> that's so true it did come out yeah <laughs> I did promise we do oh look who's here look who it is <laughs> there he is and he won't be stopped. Sean Mendes was legally in the credits. I can't get over that when they marketed that game, it was like, Sean Mendes is Lyle Lyle Crocodile. And they made it sound like he did like voice acting. He did the soundtrack to the movie and Lyle sang the soundtrack and then did not utter a single word after, uh, bes between the, the songs. <laughs> Sean Mendez is Lyle Lyle Crocodile. <laughs> they think in France they called him Enzo Enzo Le Croco. <laughs> Enzo. <laughs> no, but that's the thing is like, it seemed like, it seemed like they tried to get um, Sean Mendez to voice act and then they just couldn't afford it. So they were like, okay, we're making Lyle's character completely mute except for music. <laughs> and that's it. <laughs> Multiple people in chat with more voice acting experience than he has. Like there were videos of him like in the booth being like, what's up guys? My name is Sean Mendes and I'm Lila Crocodile. And then we watched the movie. We watched the movie for St. Jude last year. We did a Discord viewing of it, and it was like one of my incentives, if we raise this amount, we'll watch Lyle Lyle Crocodile together. Um, <laughs> I did not realize he had no lines besides the songs, and that was it. And I was like, man, I feel like I got robbed. I didn't even pay for this, I feel like I got robbed. Oh my God. So funny. Also, the movie was just like, the movie was just like boring. Like it, you know how sometimes movies are like so bad that they're funny and you can like make fun of it. It wasn't even like so bad it was funny. It was just really boring, which is kind of like a bummer. Like it just kind of was like pooped out. So yeah, it was just kind of a bummer cause I was hoping it would be so bad that we could make fun of it and we couldn't even make fun of it. Um, I keep forgetting the song is on here. <laughs> In it. <laughs> In it. 
What song is this? I don't remember this at all. Oh, hi! How do I say your name? Is it Julia Slays or is it Yulia? I'm so sorry. Hi! How are you? So funny that Hot and Cold and Hungarian dance number five are right next to each other. Julia, hi, how are you? Thank you for the raid, that's so sweet. Uh, my name is Avery, I play a lot of Just Dance. We're fundraising for St. Jude right now with dancing, but um, I don't have any incentives live because I'm getting over COVID. Someone got COVID in 2024, how embarrassing. <laughs> um, so I'm taking it a little slow today just to like ease myself back into dancing and it's actually going pretty well, so. Thank you, vaccine. I love you. Um, so we're playing some Just Dance right now. Thank you for, um, thank you for, she's the girl from All Night. Yes, I am. <laughs> she's the girl from All Night. I, I would do the dance, but the dance is really hard. <laughs> the dance is really hard. And um, I don't feel comfortable because I'm trying to like ease back into it after, cause like COVID like affects your lungs. So I'm trying to ease back into dancing and be like gentle with myself. Also, because we're doing a Just Dance speed run on Saturday for St. Jude, where I play every single song in the bass game back to back with no breaks in between. So I'm trying to like be careful. So I would do it, but I don't want to. <laughs> That's so sweet. Chat, she's the girl from All Night. <laughs> That's me! Me, Clementine! It's so funny because, like, when I went to go film that, I had to, like, lie to my chat and be like, yeah, I'm gonna take a three-week vacation. And now, whenever I want a vacation, nobody believes me. Like, I could be like, oh, yeah, I'm canceling stream today because I gotta go to the dentist, and people will be like, have fun. Have fun recording your next map, liar. <laughs> I'm like, I'm not, I'm not, <laughs> please. Um, Julia, do you have like an easy song you'd like me to do as a thank you? <gasps> Holly's here, hi BB, yeah, I'm feeling great. I tested negative last night and then I waited cause I didn't wanna like immediately go out and get groceries and I waited to test this morning and I'm still negative. So I'm like, woohoo. I boiled my COVID alive. I literally took baths three times a day, every day, to keep my temperature up, and I literally made Avery soup. <gasps> Man-eater? Ladies and gentlemen, I can attest that Julia, Julia Slays is negative for COVID because she has taste. Banger request. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>
Banger song. Banger song. Thank you, Julia. Oh, that one was on four. Got all the Just Dance trivia up here, baby. Dude, an extreme version of Maneater. I've said this to the Just Dance team. I'm like, dude, if you already have the rights to a song in JD+, you should make alternates. You should just make more alternates. I would die for an extreme man eater. I don't care that it's so old now in Just Dance. I'd die. It'd be so sick. Drop the Mambo is a Ubisoft original. They could do whatever they want with it. Hi, Robin. How are you, sunshine? I'm feeling heaps better, yeah. I was really worried that my, my lungs would be like today, but I actually feel great, so. <sighs> Four, okay, that's cool. So is JD Plus all the game songs? Um, not all of them. They're working on building the library up right now. It's like, I think 360 maps or something. It's over 300 songs for sure. And then some songs have like alternate maps and stuff. Um, but they've been doing like, um, they're kind of inconsistent, but they have been doing drops to add more. Like when this game came out, they dropped like, 70 plus songs out of nowhere from like older games. So they're working on building it up, but also the subscription isn't that bad. It's like three bucks a month or something or four bucks a month or something like that. It's really cheap. So yeah, they're working on it for sure. What platform would you recommend playing Just Dance on? Probably Switch, because if you play it on PS5 or Xbox series, you have to use your phone as a controller. And uh, if you're like me, and you're like, I'm not risking throwing my phone across the room. <laughs> also, yeah, the Joy-Con's way easier to hold. I bought this like knockoff watch Joy-Con. <laughs> it's not like official Nintendo, but like, I don't like holding stuff. I like dancing freely. So I bought this from AliExpress, but like a Joy-Con is tiny. It's so small compared to like holding your wide phone like this. It's so uncomfortable. <laughs> it's so uncomfortable. Oh yeah, and also the thing you don't think of too is that you, when you're dancing, you get sweaty because it's a workout, so your hands are getting sweaty and it makes your grip worse on your phone and it just, say goodbye to your $800 phone or whatever. <laughs> say goodbye. Um, I think I'm gonna do one more dance. Would you guys be mad if I did Monsters of Jazz? <laughs> I love this song. I wish I was joking because it's a Just Dance kids song. It's like, it's literally meant for kids who are still developing motor skills. And I don't care. I love this song. I've been waiting for Monsters of Jazz and here we are, chat. Uh, you have one song left to donate enough for us to get Lyle Lyle Crocodile on stream today. We are $110 away. $110 away from doing Top of the World from Lyle Lyle Crocodile. Very close. So Lyle stands, if you want to see Top of the World. Lyle stands. If you want to see it, now's the time. <laughs> now's the time to rise up.
I don't care. I don't care. I don't care if people are like, that song's for babies, I don't care. <laughs> it's four plus four. <laughs> How many letters in Little Sia? Nine. <laughs> Someone's, someone in chat a few weeks ago was like, how many letters in Lil Sia? And I was like, nine. <laughs> she nine. <laughs> oh my God. Top five kids song and I've only heard it for the first time right now. Literally. This is up there with like kitchen kittens. I'm not even kidding. Not even kidding. Okay, so we're going to end the stream here, but we have a little take care of so also while we're doing this business if anyone donates I'll still do Lyle um, first of all um, me and JP had a bet going because we both got COVID from the exact same <laughs> from the exact same uh, event and uh, we made a joke we made like a tiltify uh, poll um, of like people could bet who would test negative first but whoever tested negative first actually had to do like a uh, like a public like uh, punishment almost. <gasps> Laura, <laughs> Laura, thank you for the hundred and ten dollars. <laughs> we will be doing Lyle Lyle. Thank you, thank you so much. Um, that's really generous. Thank you, Laura. Um, we said whoever tested negative would actually have to do a punishment in public, like go order coffee with like a wig on or whatever. And I said mine would be, I would wear this stupid spinny hat <laughs> and the bow tie that accompanies it. And I would go order a coffee like this. <laughs> and then on stream yesterday, we did a test as a joke. And I was like, there's no way I'm gonna test negative because I still feel like kind of congested and stuff. And I did a test and it was negative and his is still positive. And I was like, huh, <laughs> I'm negative. I could go outside. And then I waited until this morning to test again, just to be super safe. And it is still negative. So today I have to go, <laughs> I have to wear this out while I go order a coffee. <laughs> well, 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 <laughs> look who won. Congratulations, you're gonna order coffee with this. So I am gonna go out today and wear this. Um, I'll still be masked just so I can be like super safe, but um, I'm gonna try to record myself, but I don't wanna record the barista because that feels weird. I don't wanna record someone on the job, um, but I will try to record myself. Yes, I will try. <laughs> um, the other thing, the other, the other business we have to attend to, I just wanted to show you guys something kind of cool. Um, this week, my team center stage hit over $1 million raised for St. Jude, um, which I'm very, I'm very proud of. Look at that. Look at that. I'm gonna put it like over here. Look at that. We hit a million dollars. Also Sheldon, thank you so much. Thank you for the $10. So um, to celebrate hitting a million dollars, we, uh, we used one of the confetti cannons that St. Jude sent, but it was a little weak. Like it didn't shoot out on its own. You had to like throw it yourself. So um, I bought my own confetti cannon <laughs> and it's uh, the aggressive one that's quite loud, but I bought my own because a million dollars deserves a million pieces of confetti. So I thought we could celebrate by singing the Nomo Kemo song and popping this, and then I'll dance to Lyle Lyle in the confetti. I'm so nervous, these are so loud. Have you guys seen that TikTok of um, Jeanette McCurdy being like, oh, I'm so scared, and then it pops and she goes, ah! <laughs> That's gonna be me. <laughs> That's gonna be me. Um, so if you wanna sing, if you want the lyrics to the Nomo Kemo party, um, type exclamation point Nomo in the chat and go nuts. I hope you can hear me. Fingers crossed you can hear me. Okay, ready? And a one, and a two, and a skiddly diddly do. Our patients have the cutest S-M-I-L-E's. Our patients have the sweetest H-E-A-R-T's. Oh, we love to see you every day, but now's the time we get to stray. <laughs> Pack up your bag, get out the door, you don't get chemo anymore. <laughs> See, that's the kind of confetti I wanted. That's what I wanted. 
baby. So if we want to hit any more million dollars, I got more. I been it. I been it. Oh my god. Bra, I got cuz they don't sell them individually that you have to buy a pack. So I got a ton. <laughs> I got so many. Um I did promise Lyle. So we will be doing Lyle. Let me refresh it. Man down. Okay, Mariah. Okay, Ariana. <laughs> um, thank you, Laura, for donating for me to do Lyle Loud Crocodile. And also, who was the other one? Hold on, let me find it. Sheldon, thank you for the $10. Little C and nine letters and four vowels. <laughs> that sounds like the beginning of Anitra's um, drag race thing. My name is Anitra, ladies and gentlemen. And I'm here to, oh, I can't say that during the stream. <laughs> Never mind. I'm here to wear your wallets out. Quack, quack, quack. <laughs> all right, all right, chat. If you don't turn up for this song, I will quit streaming and never come back. Maybe. Everyone knows I can't quit anything. <laughs> When the days have disappeared Some might say it's sort of gritty Full of faces to be feared But there are wonders that are waiting Underneath the midnight sky We got the stars illuminating It's a place for you and I a little space for you and I At the top of the world tonight When no one ever has to hide At the top of the world tonight You're sitting safe and starry-eyed There is treasure you can find And something someone Thank you, thank you. Please hold your applause. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. I know it is a really hard song, thank you. It's so funny because every time she crocked, I thought you said she crocked up. I'm crocked up for real. <laughs> I'm crocked up right now. Um, every St. Jude, I managed to convince you guys that that song is a punishment for me and I unironically really like the dance. I wish I was joking. I know it's like, 
kind of a stupid song, but I can't, I can't lie, I kind of like it. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, thank you guys so much for all the donations today. I know that like, it's kind of hard to have an incentive to donate when I don't have like song requests or like troll songs available or whatever, but like I really, I am trying so hard to be careful with my health um, after having COVID because thankfully, like because of the booster shot, like I keep up to date with my boosters every year or my COVID shot every year or whatever. Um, thankfully for the COVID shot, um, it like minimized the symptoms a lot. So for me, it was just kind of a head cold, but I was worried that it would like affect my lungs really badly and I'd have trouble breathing. Um, which is why I kind of wanted to like ease into dancing today. I thought I'd only be able to last an hour and I ended up being fine. Like I really thought it was going to be like a struggle today. So like, I'm, I'm really grateful y'all still donated anyway. Um, cause I know it's, it's not as fun when you can't donate for like a song request or like Rasputin or whatever or whatever. Um, so I really appreciate you guys being patient with me. Thank you so much. I'm, I think because the speed run is next Saturday, I'm trying to be careful. He's gonna eat the confetti if I don't clean it up soon. Oh, this poor boy. What happened? What happened? He's gonna sniff every single piece of confetti individually, I promise you. Um, I, um, yes, I tested negative again this morning, Duelist. And I like, I took a photo of it, like super zoomed in so I could make sure there wasn't like a faint line or anything. I am super negative. Thank God. <laughs> I am still like a little congested up here. Or not congested, like I don't have like mucus, but like it's like kind of inflamed. So I think I sound sick, but I feel great. Um, anyways, sorry, what I was saying. Um, the Just Dance, our annual Just Dance speed run is on Saturday. And I really wanted to like be careful with my lungs and make sure I like eased back into dancing first before just like going hard and doing all the hard songs and stuff. So thank you guys for being patient with me today. I really appreciate it. I feel great, dude. I have like, you know when you realize you've gotten better and you have like that renewed energy boost? Like I'm gonna clean, I'm gonna deep clean the whole house today. Cause I wanted to sanitize all the doorknobs and stuff anyway, but like, I feel great. <laughs> I'm like a little like inflamed up here, but otherwise I don't feel great. No, I didn't really sweat today. So I, I, I wanted to do an easy dance stream because the last time I got COVID, it really affected my lungs and made it like hard to breathe during dances. Um, if you watch, uh, if you watch the dance-a-thon finale from 2022, that was the dance-a-thon finale I did right after testing negative for COVID. And I was like, <sighs> like we, one of my costume changes was um, Build-A-Babe. And that song, that dance is really easy. And even after that one, I was like, whew. So because of that experience, I was like, I wanna take it slower this time and make sure that I don't like hurt myself or go too hard. And I feel great. So yeah, I feel really good. I'm really relieved because I was so nervous about the speed run, but I feel really good. So yes, thank you guys so much for being here. Um, I will be streaming throughout the week. I'm gonna put up a schedule uh, today for, for this week now that I know I'm feeling better and like up to streaming and stuff. So I'll put up the schedule and the time for the speed run will be up as well. Um, yes, 10 a.m. Pacific, so my normal going live time. It would start two hours ago, <laughs> if that makes sense. <laughs> so yes, I'm really excited now. Now that I know I'm okay, I've, I'm really excited. So um, yeah, I'll put up um, some streams for this week. I wanna do some milestones that we've unlocked this week. So we'll do that this week. But otherwise I feel really good. Thank you, Count Kawuchi. Thank you for being here. It was a really fun stream. Thank you so much.